Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Fayla Nay. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video and hanging out with your girl. I hope that you enjoy today's top 10 video. If you do, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and also make sure that you subscribe to my channel down below by clicking on the red button. It'll add you to my fam here on YouTube, of course. And if you are not new to my channel, you guys already know what it is. So thank you so much for coming back. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys, as I mentioned, a top 10. Today's video is going to kick off my back to school series on my channel for the next couple of weeks And in today's back to school video, I'm going to be sharing with you my top 10 makeup essentials So as most of you guys know the typical school day is about eight hours or so and we need our makeup to last a solid eight hours okay so in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys a couple of products that I personally feel like will definitely stand the test of time or at least eight hours <laughs> for you guys in school. Also, before we jump into the video, I wanted to mention that this is a collaboration with one of my besties here on YouTube. Her name is Andrea Renee. If you have been following my channel for a while, Andrea definitely will not be a stranger to you guys. I have done tons of collaborations with her here on my channel, and she's actually one of my really good friends in regular life not just here on YouTube I'm very excited as always to be doing another collaboration with her it has been a hot minute so very excited to be introducing those of you guys that may be new to my channel to one of my really good friends so I will have her video linked for you guys down below in the description so definitely make sure that after you're finished watching this video you head over to her channel to check out the items that she is going to be sharing with you guys as her makeup essentials for back to school so without further ado let's go ahead and wrap up this intro and get into my top 10. Alright guys, so before we actually jump into the makeup items, the key to beautiful makeup, to flawless skin, to makeup that lasts all day starts first with skincare. So the very first thing that I want to mention to you is facial masks. I am a huge fan, obsessed, I have a drawer full of facial masks and I really do think that they make a huge difference even if you only do them two to three times a week. So I have two masks that I want to share with you guys, one drugstore and one that is a little bit more high end depending on what you prefer. So they are both these cute little green masks right here and I highly recommend as you're preparing to go back to school like that week or two weeks before start giving your skin like prepping your skin give yourself you know two to three times a week a mask and just really put it on your face wait you know 15 20 minutes and really start prepping your skin it will make all the difference once you start applying makeup and expecting it to last for eight hours while you're at school so I'll go ahead and start off with the drugstore option first this one is from L'Oreal and this is their pure sugar exfoliant face and lip mask. Now they do have three different masks in this line. This one in particular is the Kiwi one, I believe. And I have it pulled up on my phone here just to make sure I'm telling you guys the right thing. But this one is the Kiwi mask and this one is specifically for purifying and unclogging your pores. Now I do have oily skin. I'm not sure, I may have mentioned that already, but I do have oily skin just in case I haven't mentioned it. So I am all about masks that are going to purify my skin, that are gonna unclog my pores, that are gonna minimize my pores, that are going to help me control oil all that good stuff I'm all about that life so I really do like this one next up is the glam glow power mud dual cleanse treatment which looks like this this is another one that I also really like again it is more high-end so I wanted to give you options but this one also smells equally as amazing I do have sensitive skin so I love that I could use this on a very regular basis and it doesn't irritate my skin at all but it does still help like I said to really pull out those impurities and clarify clarify cleanse and clarify my skin so Two options for you guys, I'll have them linked down below depending on which one you prefer. So next up, while we are still on skin prep, once you're actually sitting down to do your makeup, I have a couple of primers that I want to share with you guys. One is a pore minimizing primer and the other is an oil controlling primer. So this one is the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base. I have been a fan of this for years. I have repurchased it several times and I'm still in love with it. I used it on my face today. And this is actually very similar to the Tarte Smoothing Primer. It literally is a very similar consistency and it just smooths out your pores. Like my makeup on my skin right now is just so smooth and so just like flawless. And I feel like this has or plays a major part in that. 
And then for oil control, I have been obsessed lately with the Hourglass Mineral Veil Oil Free Primer. If you have oily skin, you definitely want to try to stick or look for, stick with or look for oil free products. And this one I absolutely love. A dupe to this, if you want a drugstore option, is the NYX Angel Veil. I have used that one before and I do really like that one as well. But lately I have just been all about this one. I have literally been scraping the bottle trying to get every little ounce out of this bottle because it is kind of on the pricey side but it is worth the coins because it does a great job of controlling oil throughout the day. Okay so next up once you have all of the skin prep out of the way I have a foundation to recommend to you guys that is definitely unessential for me. It has been one that I have been using like crazy and it is the LA Girl Pro Matte HD Longwear Matte foundation of course for all of my oily skin girls out there you can use this with both a sponge or with a brush I'm a brush girl so I like to apply it with a brush and then just kind of go over it with my beauty blender once I have it on my face but this foundation you guys it's a drugstore foundation and it is literally like the quality and the finish that it gives you is similar to a high-end product like this foundation is bomb so I did film a full review on this like several weeks ago I'll try to remember to link it for you guys if you want a little bit more information about this particular foundation my shade is in the shade cafe so if I am a foundation reference for you mine is in the shade cafe and this foundation is just it's just amazing it's just is everything okay so the next product I have for you guys is a concealer and I wanted to actually share with you guys a multi-use concealer just in case you are someone that isn't really into the foundation life I know when I was in high school I was not about the full beat face going to school things have definitely changed like I literally see people like girls in high school now that go to school with a full face of makeup on and are like slaying so I definitely was not even thinking about that whenever I was in high school but if you are someone that wants to look put together but you don't want to do like a full B and have a full face of foundation on a multi-use concealer that allows you to spot conceal and maybe conceal a little under your eyes if you have darkness there is a great alternative so the one that I wanted to mention to you guys is the Too Faced Born This Way concealer I have been very much obsessed with these concealers lately and I have been wearing them a lot on days when I'm in a rush or when I've woken up late on my way to work I will pull these out and use one for foundation and one for concealer it's so fast because it's literally the same product and it has a little applicator um, like this like a little sponge tip applicator so it's super easy to just apply all over my face really quickly blend it out set it and go so highly recommend these for my actual face I use the shade butterscotch and then to highlight, I use the shade Warm Beige. I did do a review on these as well, so if you're interested in a little bit more details about them, I will link that for you. They can definitely stand to expand the shades on the deeper end of the spectrum, but if you are similar to my skin tone, then you'll be good to go on a foundation and a concealer shade. Okay, so moving right along, if you are even more of a minimalist person and you don't want to do the foundation and the concealer and you just want to kind of do a little bit with your lashes and just keep it very minimalistic in the morning, maybe you're someone similar to me that likes your sleep and you pretty much just sleep to the last 15 or 20 minutes and you just need something quick that'll make you look awake, but you're not really trying to do very much to your face at all or you might just be one of those blessed people that just has beautiful skin and no dark circles and you just look bomb without even trying you literally just woke up like this and you just look amazing you might just want to enhance just a couple of little things so the next two products the next three products actually are just going to be products that are perfect for that for just enhancing your natural beauty that you just woke up with <laughs> and that literally require very minimal effort you could literally apply all three of these things in less than five minutes so first up is a mascara I think the easiest thing that you can do if you want a very minimal makeup look but to still look put together and awake and like you did a little something is to apply a little bit of mascara I have been obsessed with the Lancome Monster Big mascara this mascara is bomb. I have been wearing it pretty much every single day for my lashes. I have very small, kind of short, not very eventful lashes. And this mascara makes them look like they're doing a little bit more than they actually are. 
So I highly recommend this one. So once you have that mascara pop in, next up is highlighter. Highlighter is the easiest way to wake up your skin, make you look radiant, even if you don't have any makeup on your face at all. You can apply a little bit of highlighter super natural to your face and it will really help you to look more healthy and just awake and just radiant and all of that good stuff. So I have drugstore highlighters to share with you guys. If you have been following my recent videos, you already know I have been raving about these highlighters because they're amazing. So these are the Physicians Formula Butter Highlighters. And one of you guys mentioned in my um, recent video, I thought that these were the only two shades. They do actually have other shades. I think they have five shades total, but I have two of them. I have the shades Champagne and Rose Gold. So here are swatches of the shades and you guys can see for yourself how absolutely stunning these highlighters are. So here on this side we have champagne and then here on this side we have the rose gold shade. So next up is lip gloss and when I was in high school I was all about the gloss. Now back when I was in high school it was all about the lip smackers gloss. Comment down below if you guys remember the lip smackers lip glosses. Oh my gosh. They were bomb. They smelled so good and they were popping on your lips. Like if you wanted your lip gloss to be popping those were the lip glosses that you needed to get. But nowadays, I mean, people still kind of want to have their lip gloss pop in, but it seems like now more people want a gloss that also gives them a little bit of color on their lips as opposed to just a really popping clear lip gloss that might have a slight tint. So for that, I highly recommend these Milani Amour Shine Liquid Lip Colors. I'm actually wearing one on my lips right now. And the shade that I have on is the shade Tenderness, which is, as you can see, a brown toned nude and here are swatches for you guys in case you are interested in seeing those but I literally just opened it out of the tube and did one swipe and this is the pigmentation that I got for the swatch all right so next step once you have all these items on your face whether you decide to do the minimalist option or you decide to go full out and just slay and just have people breaking their necks all day long because you are just looking bomb for back to school. You want to make sure that you set everything in place to make sure it doesn't move, all that hard work that you did. And even if you don't have a full face of makeup on, you can still apply a setting spray to your skin just to refresh your skin and, you know, just give yourself a little bit of something extra to your skin. You could even use it as part of your skincare routine. But one setting spray that I have really been loving is the MAC um, Fix Plus Matte. So I'm not sure if you guys were aware, but MAC actually has expanded their Fix Plus line. They have a Fix Plus Rose Gold, a Gold I think, and then they came out with a matte one. I have been obsessed, you guys, with the matte one. I thought it would be kind of gimmicky because I do have the regular Fix Plus as well. But I have been pleasantly surprised at how well this works. It doesn't leave my skin dry. It helps to set everything in place and just make my skin look less powdery and just more natural and just melt everything together but it does keep me matte and it does help my makeup to last very long throughout the day. So next up I have an item that you can use as part of your makeup routine. I personally do not use this item like as part of my actual makeup application process. I keep this in my purse to touch up throughout the day and it is the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot Matte Setting Powder or Matte Powder, Mattifying Powder and this one is in the shade Translucent. So. I actually really like this powder. It kind of has a little bit of a um, slightly beige tint to it. I was going to say yellow, but it's not really yellow at all actually. It kind of has like a slight beige tint to it. But when you apply it to the skin, you can't really see it at all. And this is actually perfect because I tend to get oily in my T-zone and in this area of my cheeks, like right up in here because that's where my pores are, my pores. I cannot talk today, you guys. That's where my pores are the largest. So I tend to get oily here and right down the center of my face. And this is perfect for just setting and mattifying that area. And I love the color of this because it is, like I said, a little bit more of a beigey tone. It's translucent, but it's just slightly kind of beigey. And it works perfectly for this area of my face because I tend to highlight this area so when I go in throughout the day to touch up, I don't want to 
be using like a setting powder I would use for all over my face and it just ends up making this middle part of my face dark. I don't want to undo the work that I did in the morning. So this is really great because it doesn't change the color of the center of my face and it does a really great job of mattifying the area and helping to keep me matte if I start to get a little bit oily throughout the day. So last but not least, I have a couple of eyeshadow palettes that I want to share with you guys and these of course are completely optional. Eyeshadow, is all of this is optional, honestly. Like, you could just wake up and just go to school with none of this and that would be completely fine. But if you are someone that wants to do a little bit extra, if you just enjoy it, you know what I'm saying, and you just want to do a little extra, then you have these options. So I did want to share a couple of eyeshadow palettes with you guys because I think if you're going to purchase an eyeshadow palette or have something that you can reach for when you're getting ready for school, you really want something that's going to be multi-purpose that you can use to do a quick eyeshadow look, something super natural. Or if you have a couple of extra minutes in the morning and you want to amp it up, you already have everything in one palette. So the very first one that I want to share with you guys is a Morphe palette. This one is the 3502. I actually really enjoyed the 3502 palette a lot more than the original. And the reason that I really like this eyeshadow palette in particular is because this is literally a warm girl's dream. I love this because you have tons of matte shades in here that you can pop in your crease really quickly whenever you're getting ready to head out for school but then you also have a couple of shimmers in here that are also warm and like not too much that if you wanted to kick it up a notch you could pop on your lid or in your inner corner or even use as a highlight if you wanted to and I know people talk about Morphe a lot but honestly like I'm not sponsored by them I don't have a coupon code or anything with Morphe but I think that the hype is for good reason especially when it comes to their eyeshadow palettes the quality is amazing and you really get a pretty amazing bang for your buck when you purchase products from their site. So yeah, this is the first one. And then the next one is actually the palette that I used on my eyes today, which I'm kind of obsessed with, just saying. But it is the ColourPop Times Shayla Perception Eyeshadow Palette. Now I know this palette in particular is limited edition, I'm pretty sure. Now, I do think that it is still available, though. I don't think they've stopped selling it, but I'm pretty sure at some point they, like, it's not going to be a permanent product in the ColourPop line. So if it's something that you're interested, I would recommend going ahead and getting your hands on it as soon as possible. So the thing that I really like about this eyeshadow palette is that you have a lot to work with here. On this side, you have a lot of really great matte shades, warm shades, perfect for the crease, but also a couple shimmers, which I used on my lid today that you could amp it up with, but it still looks, I mean, it's glam, but it still looks natural. And then on this side, you have a couple of colorful shades and a couple more bold shades that you could use if you really wanna kick the look up a notch, or if you're just someone that prefers to wear color, you do have a couple of colorful shades on this side of the palette as well. So this is an option that is also affordable. I don't remember exactly how much this retailed for. I wanna say, Maybe 20 something dollars, but I don't remember for sure. I will have all these products linked for you guys down below. But this one is another great option. Like I said, I have it on my eyes today. It applies beautiful. It blends beautifully. It's super pigmented. It's just bomb. All right, guys. So that is going to bring us to the end of my top 10 makeup essentials for back to school. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Hopefully, I gave you guys a couple of useful tips useful products hopefully you were taking notes you know go ahead and get into practice getting ready to go back to school with taking notes hopefully you had your phone out or had your notepad and you were taking some notes on a couple of products if you weren't i will have them listed and linked for you guys down below to make it super easy for you guys um but yeah hopefully this was helpful especially if you have oily skin i wanted to make sure that i incorporated a couple of my personal favorites for my oily skin that really get the job done and help my makeup to last for a strong eight hours and yeah, that's pretty much all that I have for you guys for this video. Let me know down below what your makeup essentials are for back to school. And make sure that you head over to Andrea's channel as well to check out her makeup essentials. I will have her link down below in the description. So definitely make sure that you check her out. Subscribe to her channel. She's trying to get to 100K. She's almost there. So you guys definitely make sure that you subscribe to her channel. Show her some support. She makes videos that are very similar to the types of videos that I make here on my channel. So if you enjoy my videos, I'm positive that you 
will enjoy hers as well. And if you are new to my channel from Andrea's channel, thank you so much for checking out my video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And yeah, that's all I got for you guys. So thanks again for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you very soon in my next one.